Welcome to this video on acupressure. I want to teach you three very important points. These are points that everybody should know. We don't learn these in school, but they come in so handy. I want to show you something that will clear pain. I want to show you something that will clear stress. And I also want to show you something that will energize you, that bring up the energy. Now, why do I know these points? Well, I'm, I'm sitting in this ancient chair. This chair is a thousand years old. It was part of the Ming Dynasty in a Taoist temple. That doesn't give me the authority necessarily to speak on acupressure, but I've been studying Chinese medicine. I've been an acupuncturist and an herbalist for the last 20 years. I see sometimes 20 or 30 people per day for acupuncture. And this is the meridian system. I'm also a Qigong teacher. I've been teaching Qigong for 30 years. So energy is my life's purpose. It's my passion as well. I love working with energy because it's simple and effective. It works. Now, if you know some pressure points, it can be in your toolkit to help you lead a happier and healthier life. So let's learn some points that will help us to clear pain. How's that sound? This point is called and often called the Tylenol point because it clears pain. It shifts your nervous system. In fact, they use this point for anesthetic. You can do open heart surgery, tooth extraction, all kinds of stuff that they use this point for in China. So it can help us with our little aches and pains as well. All right, so this point is large intestine four. It's known as hagu in Chinese medicine, and it is in the webbing between your thumb and your first finger, right in here. You might have heard about this point. It's a famous point. Now, famous points in Chinese medicine, in Chinese medicine school, it's kind of funny, they call them celebrity points because everybody knows who they are. This is one of those celebrity point. It is the point for headaches or systemic pain. So if you have pain anywhere, headaches especially, this point here. Now, how do you do this point? You're gonna open the thumb and the th first finger. It's closer to the bone of your first finger than down here in the webbing. So get right close to the bone, and that often feels tender. I like to use my thumb. This is your acupressure tool. Get right in there and press and circle. Now, once I was doing this on a friend of mine, he's like, oh man, I have the worst headache. It was after lunch, we were having dinner. And so I reached across the table and I squeezed that point. I squeezed it pretty hard. He's like, oh, that's painful. That's sore. And I held it for about 30 seconds and he said, oh, my headache's gone. I was like, great, doesn't it work? It works so well. Yeah, it works. And then the food arrived and I let go of the point. And he's like, oh, shoot, my headache came back. And so I grabbed the point again on his other hand. He's like, oh, it's gone. And then we let go, it came back again. So you might have to hold it for longer than 30 seconds or return to it before it starts to switch in your energy and nervous system. But it does work and it works so well. So you can do one side and then do the other side. Now all of these points, of course, like me doing this on my friend, you could do it on somebody else. So if somebody's like, oh, my back hurts, I got a headache, got neck pain, tooth pain, whatever pain that is, it doesn't work if somebody else is a pain but it works for the pain in your body. That's the good news. So push that point, and what I like to do is press and circle. Make a little circle, because you can kind of feel where that tender spot is, then hold and press, circle a little bit. 30 seconds to a minute usually creates a shift in your body. You might have to repeat it two or three times, especially if it's significant pain, and do it often. Do it in the morning, in the middle of the day, do it in the evening, have somebody else do it. Those are the pain points. Now, what about stress? We all feel emotionally stressed out. So often when our emotions are heightened, our breathing changes. It becomes slow and shallow. That's called stress breathing, fight or flight. We wanna be alert to what's going on in the environment, but we don't always wanna be in stress. We wanna clear stress. So right here at the center of your chest, right in the middle of your sternum. There's a point here, CV17, the 17th point on the conception vessels, right here in the center of your chest. What I like to do, take the fingers like this, right into the center of the sternum and just circle. As you're circling here, I want you to breathe. Breathe in and out through the nose. Nice and slow and deep. Press with good firm pressure. 
again, 30 seconds to a minute. Often this point works a little better if you do it for two minutes or so. Push, circle, breathe. Let the energy move and transform stress into vitality. Tap on it a little bit, just tap. Take one more deep breath. Relax, see how that feels. See if you just feel a little calmer, more centered, less stressed in this area or in your overall mind and body. Now, when you clear stress, you create a healing response in your body. Chronic stress creates a lot of physiological problems. So clearing stress a few times a day can be wonderful, especially at the end of the day. This will help you sleep. It'll help to clear stress. It might be good before you go home from work or at the end of your workday, Massage two or three minutes, transition from work stress into home relaxation. Sound good? All right, another point for energy. We all wanna feel more energy, right? So this point is called the door of life. The door of life. It's for increasing energy. Now we all drink coffee in the morning and it stimulates what in Chinese medicine is called kidney chi or your adrenal glands. So this is a natural way to boost your energy system. It's right here at your lower back. In fact, this point is directly up on the spine behind your navel. So if you kind of go from your navel directly back to your spine, you will find that point. And actually this whole area is good for energy and vitality. So how do you do it? Because you can't massage it with your thumbs, so you just tap on it. Tap on it. In fact, I like to do it with both hands. You just tap. And this whole area right here is for energy and vitality. Take another deep breath. Tap on those points. If you want to do it seated, you just lean forward a little bit. Tap on those points. And it'll increase the energy. Relax. Hands at your lap or at your sides. Take a slow, deep breath. Aren't those wonderful? Now these are just three points out of hundreds of points in Chinese medicine. It's nice to know a few so that we can go, oh, how, how do I clear some stress? How do I wake up and get my energy activated for a busy day? You might do this at the end of the day and you might do this one to start your day. Now I'm gonna teach a workshop on acupressure, self-acupressure, for self-healing and you're going to learn a lot of those points so if you like this video number one click the subscribe button give it a thumbs up if you found it useful number two you can join this workshop it's a three-hour workshop where we'll go through qigong movements to increase your energy so we actually have energy to use and then we're going to learn a whole bunch of points that are going to be therapeutic you can even learn points to do on other people, your friends or your family. Somebody comes up, oh, I got a headache. You can know what point to use. Neck pain, low back pain, sciatica, increased energy, clear stress. We're going to learn all kinds of things. Hormone balance, better sleep. I'll show you points that will be like having a wonderful medicine cabinet. Only the medicine cabinet is within yourself. So if you want to join, come try this three-hour workshop click the link in this video and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks so much.